there we are so this is telling us that what we started off with 2x squared minus x plus 4 over x cube plus 4x with our dx there it's equal to a a over x and uh, we found our a to be 1 so it's 1 over x plus b we found our b to be 1 let me write here plus b over dx is that plus c c we found our c to be minus 1 so sorry we get minus 1 here over x squared plus 4 x squared plus 4 like that so we are integrating this with respect to x integral with respect to x like that which is uh, simply the integral of 1 over x dx plus the integral of x over x squared plus 4 dx minus the integral of 1 over x squared plus 4 dx like that isn't it so this one is the lean of x this one when you differentiate if you let this to be your u it will produce 2x you have a 2 you have a half plus 1 over 2 the lean of x squared plus 4 minus this you remember you will recall this this like our a so it's a, a 1 over a which is 2 actan of um, x over a plus c Oh, sorry, this is 2. That is 2. And that settles it. That settles it. So, finally, we look at case number 4. Case number 4, where g of x contains repeated irreducible quadratic factors again we illustrate the decomposition using an example let us take an example here and then we want to evaluate The integral of 1 minus x plus 2x squared minus x cubed divided by x into x squared plus 1 all squared dx. So check the degree, the degree in the denominator is 4, 5, numerator 3. So this is a proper fraction. We are happy. Then secondly, this has already been factorized because we cannot factorize x squared plus 1 any further. We don't have to multiply it to, to try and str say we are simplifying this. No, we leave it as it is. And um, so it gives us now 1 minus x plus 2x squared minus x3 there divided by x into x squared plus 1 all squared it must be equal to a over the first factor which is x plus this is quadratic so it will be b x plus c over x squared plus one because it is repeating we will have a plus d x plus e over x squared plus one 
all squared like that and from there we find a b c d e then we will do so firstly we we multiply throughout by the denominator so on the left hand side we'll be left with one minus x plus two x squared minus x cubed equal to we are multiplying everything by x into x squared plus one all squared so x and x will cancel we have a into x squared plus one all squared like that plus then b x plus c will be multiplied by x and then it will be multiplied by x squared plus one like that and then plus let me write it down here dx plus e multiplied by x like that so if we manage to do that if we manage to do that this is going to give us the following is going to give us the following we may use firstly we may use elimination because we can see that if we let x to be zero if we let x to be zero this will be gone this will be gone and if x is zero on the left hand side we have a one this is equal to this is zero so it's a one so we have got a here a is equal to one then we are done now we cannot eliminate any co constant we compare the coefficients compare the coefficients and then uh, the biggest one is x to the power of 4 biggest one because if you check here when you expand this you will have x to the power of 4 times a when you come to this you will have b a bx squared times this is b to the power of 4 you see so we have that and then on the left hand side we don't have any power of 4 so it is 0 the coefficient of x to the power of 4 is 0 on the left hand side is equal to on the right hand side we have seen that we will have a coming from this and then we will have b coming from that but already we know a is equal to 1 so this will imply that b is minus 1 then we are left with c d and e so come to the x cube x cube on the left hand side is minus one fine on the right hand side we can see we want to have x cube here but okay this will be squared the b will not be there you multiply this by that is x cubed so c will be there and we are done so from there we can move on to x squared we can move on to x squared and then we check on the left hand side we've got a 2 on the right hand side then again if you expand this you will have a middle term here which is 2x squared a eh? so we've got 2a then when we come to this this is bx squared multiplied by this is just b let us check do we have c no do we have d yes plus d uh, but uh, we already know that a is 1 b is minus 1 so 2 is equal to 2 minus 1 plus d 
2 minus 1, it's 1. All right. Mm. Mm. Okay, that's fine. Two minus one, it's it's um, what do we call that? Two minus one, it's one. So if two minus one is one, when we bring it to the left hand side, we will get two minus one equal to d. So in this case, d. It's equal to one also for for that because that mm -hmm. there we are so now we are left with um, e we are left with e for e let us look at the coefficient of x in this one, coefficient of x is minus 1. On the right hand side, you can see this will not be, will produce no x. But this one, c, x, will have a c. So we have a c there. And then we have an e. And we are saying c plus e is minus 1. c is already minus 1. Therefore, E is zero. There we are. So it tells us that the integral of one minus x plus two x squared minus x cube divided by x into x squared plus 1 all squared dx is equal to a a a over x a is 1 so 1 over x let me write it like this then bx plus c over x squared plus 1, the integral thereof. What is our b? Our b is minus 1. So we may end up, maybe I should be slow and put a plus sign here. And then b, we said it's minus 1. So it's minus x. c, it's minus 1 minus 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. Allow me to write it like this. And then plus d, we go to d, d is 1, the integral of x plus e is 0 over x squared plus 1 dx. If we, we do it that way, this is equal to now the integral of 1 over x dx minus uh, the integral of x over x squared plus 1 dx minus the integral of 1 over x squared plus 1 dx plus the integral of x over x squared plus 1. This is squared squared dx like that right so the first one this is the lean of x second one when you differentiate this you get 2x then it will produce a half minus 1 over 2 the lean of x squared plus 1 you can put it like this or around brackets it does not matter minus this is the arctan of uh, x then this will be mm, this 
it is a plus here, then it will be a minus, I think. Differentiate this, you get 2x, then it will produce a, a half. And when you add there, it will be x squared plus 1, like this, plus c. There we are. Whew, that was long.